Occasionally, a new hypothesis emerges that utterly changes everything we previously believed and leads us down a different route that could just provide the answer to all of our unresolved issues. Today, we'll examine the top five universe-related theories that have the potential to totally alter the way you perceive the world. Your mind is about to be blown. Let's go! The Fermi Paradox In its simplest form, the Fermi Paradox is where is everybody? Why have we not found any signs of an advanced civilization? It is entirely plausible that there could be other Earth-like planets given that our Sun is simply a regular star and that the Earth is just a regular planet. There are billions of other stars in the galaxy, so our solar system isn't all that unique. Our Sun is quite young compared to other stars, having only existed for a few billion years. Even if some of those planets manage to advance interstellar travel at a rate comparable to that of humans, it would still take many tens of millions of years for one of them to conquer the entire cosmos. However, despite the apparent high likelihood that there should have been life at some point in the universe's 13.8 billion year history, we have never discovered a single concrete artifact or piece of evidence that anyone else besides us exists in this universe. This gives rise to some bizarre notions, such as the zoo hypothesis, which holds that extraterrestrial species may be deliberately avoiding us and secretly watching us, or yet another that brings us to our next theory, the simulation theory. According to this theory, it's possible that everyone on Earth is a virtual reality constructed by an alien culture in a far-off galaxy. While this simulation theory may sound like something that someone who has watched too many science fiction films would come up with, there are well-known scientists and physicists who not only believe it is plausible, but are also working on research to support it. A group of German physicists in particular is working to develop their own computerized simulation of the universe. Surprisingly, a new discovery in string theory by theoretical physicist S. James Gate also strengthens the case for this idea. In essence, Gate discovered what is essentially hidden within the equations that characterize our universe as computer code. It's also a very uncommon self-dual linear binary error-correcting black code, not just any code. So it would appear that the quantum core of our cosmos contains error-correcting ones and zeros. Therefore, if there is a chance for our survival, we must be in a simulation. Either that, or we are soon going to annihilate one another. The Multiverse Theory According to the Multiverse Theory, there are an endless number of worlds, each with its own set of physical rules and characteristics. This implies that anything that could conceivably occur, no matter how unlikely it may seem, in some universe. The proof for this hypothesis is provided by the Big Bang and quantum physics, according to its proponents. For instance, the Big Bang raises the possibility that space-time is curved and may extend indefinitely, which implies that there may be an endless number of universes out there. Additionally, quantum mechanics predicts that particles constantly appear and disappear, which would imply that a new universe is generated each time this occurs. Numerous ramifications of the multiverse theory affect how we think about the cosmos. For starters, it would imply that anything is theoretically possible, and that time travel, other histories, parallel worlds, and other science fiction concepts might all be real in some undiscovered realm. It may also help to explain why some constants, such as the speed of light, have values that would allow life to exist in our universe. If these values were different, life in our universe would be impossible, but it would still be conceivable in other universes. Life Inside a Black Hole Theory Every black hole contains the seeds for the creation of a brand new universe. Could one have given origin to our universe? Do we live in a black hole? Let's go back in time. The Big Bang occurred before the emergence of mankind. The Earth, the Sun, galaxies, and even the ability for light to shine. About 13.8 billion years ago, something occurred. But what about before that? Many physicists claim that there is nothing before. 
They believe that time started at the moment of the Big Bang, and that considering anything earlier is outside the purview of science. Some scientists, though, are in disagreement. These physicists propose that just before the Big Bang, the entire universe's mass and energy were crammed into a minuscule yet immensely dense speck. Call it the beginning of a brand new universe. The size of this seed is estimated to have been nearly beyond comprehension. It may have been trillions of times smaller than any particle that humans have ever been able to witness. But even so, it's a particle that has the power to create every other particle, as well as every galaxy, solar system, planet, and living thing. This seed seems to meet the definition of the God particle perfectly. So how is a seed like that made? One theory that has been floated around for a while is that the universe's origins took place inside a black hole, which is arguably nature's most extreme environment and was made famous by Nikodem Popolovsky of the University of New Haven. According to physicists like Dr. Popolovsky, matter inside a black hole does eventually reach a threshold where further compression is impossible. Even while this seed is exceedingly little, and weighs as much as a billion suns, it is real, unlike a singularity. Dr. Popolovsky claims that the inability of black holes to condense results from their spinning, they rotate at a rate that may be near to the speed of light. And because of this spin, the compacted seed has a tremendous degree of torsion. It's twisted and compressed, like one of those silly spring-loaded snakes in a can, in addition to being little and heavy which can suddenly spring with a bang. This should be a big bang, or as Dr. Pawlowski prefers to say, the big bounce. In other words, it's plausible that a black hole connects two universes, acting as a one-way door, as Dr. Pawlowski puts it. This indicates that it's possible for you to wind up in a different world if you fall into the Milky Way's black hole, or at the very least, for the fragments of you to do so. Dr. Pawlowski adds, that this other universe isn't inside ours. The hole is merely the link, like a shared root connecting two aspen trees. What about all of us who are present in this universe? We might be the product of an older, different cosmos. We guess we can call it our mother universe. The seed this mother universe forged inside a black hole may have had its big bounce 13.8 billion years ago. And even though our universe has been quickly expanding ever since, we could still be concealed in the event horizon of the black hole. The Big Bang Theory The Big Bang Theory is the most commonly accepted theory for how the cosmos came into being. According to the hypothesis, the universe as we know it now was created some 13.8 billion years ago, with a tremendous burst of energy and matter. Evidence from astronomy, astrophysics, and particle physics is used to support this theory. According to the Big Bang Theory, a singularity, an infinitesimally small, infinitely hot, and enormously dense point, is where the universe began. Rapid expansion caused this singularity to become hotter and less dense. Particles and atoms developed as nature cooled, eventually giving rise to stars, galaxies, and other cosmic phenomena. This original expansion led to the universe's ongoing expansion. The formation of galaxies, stars, and planets is also explained by the Big Bang hypothesis. It implies that the first galaxies were formed when clumps of matter collapsed due to changes in density brought about by the Big Bang. Following cycles of star formation and evolution, these galaxies finally gave rise to our solar system. Let us know what you think of these theories in the comments section below.